this is from our showroom. So we've got all these guitars from our showroom because I want to kind of go through it and show you just how personalised Gordon Smith purchasing can be and or choosing can be. Now, for example, this one here is quite relevant. Okay, so guys, this one here is a modern, this one's a modern version of the first guitar that I ever part exchanged. Okay. I think they now call this the Heritage. I think this is um, Doug at Gordon Smith introduced um, this concept of heritage models, which are models which are true to the original kind of original models that were popular in the, in the day. Mm. So this is one of their uh, heritage models because it is a doesn't get any more straightforward. Wrap over bridge, humbucker, coil tap. Um, it's kind of your ultimate kind of lead guitar punk guitar super mm. punk super punk yeah. yeah and and so this is this would have started things off in the 70s yeah. um when they started up and um and tr genuinely i remember saying to doug when they released this i couldn't believe it because it it just feels like my dad's guitar you know is yeah it's, it's, it's like having my dad's guitar um so it's amazing so that's where it all started and that's where my journey started with gordon smith i didn't know gordon smith and in those days Ricky, there was no internet, or the internet was oh, yeah. just just starting. <laughs> yeah. It was just starting, um, and it's it was kind of like called dial-up. Um, so you would sort of go on to, you'd have to log in via something called DOS, which I know you probably uh, don't know what that is. Yeah, I, I remember with my mum getting our like first like internet, years old. Yeah, and, <laughs> no, yeah, you, and he you like had to dial up and he goes, yeah, because cool. you would have been zero. <laughs> You're, how old are you? Twenty? Yeah, 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 yeah. Twenty-six. Yeah. So I remember dialing up. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> but the point being is yes. Yeah, so you do know what dial-up is, and so yes. dial-up connection. So, but yes. the internet was really, in terms of being used as a resource for learning about stuff, it was, it, you know. So I had to go dig around my guitar magazines, mm. all that kind of stuff, and found out about this guy building the guitars, and his wife Linda was involved, and um, the, and I, I I knew this guitar was. I just could tell this guitar was a really special guitar, so I gave it to my dad, and so my my dad still has it now. And nice. um, yeah, so so this is where this is where it all began. Mm. So Doug then came along, took over the the reins, yeah. uh, and um, he called me, and and it was it was an amazing thing because Doug literally rang me to say, look, if I can show you that we're back to where Gordon Smith were and beyond, would you be would you be interested? And I was like, yeah. oh my god, it be it would mean everything to me to be able yeah. to, to do that. So we've never looked back, and uh, so this is where we are now. So we're going to talk about we're going to talk about stuff that we've got here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to throw a curveball then because I'm going to start with something that is completely the latest thing I've seen. So mm -hmm. I kind of briefly mentioned it a minute ago, but I, de I want to start oh, with this. This chair. Yes. Yes. The bumblebee. The bumblebee. <laughs> now then. Now the, this. This is an example of. I can't claim any. Actually, it kind of upsets me when I can't claim credit to any any part of the development or the. Um, you know. I thought that was one. Yeah. What's one you developed? I don't the, think the so. trouble with you is that <laughs> you, you forget what you've developed. Yeah, I yeah, remember when the mahogany ones came in and you were really confused and shocked that I designed <laughs> yeah, something I, yeah, it that was. exciting, <laughs> and you decided. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I had designed it. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, it was, it was. You designed it with a, with the, a customer, um, and um, and it came a few months afterwards. And you thought I designed I like, it, and I was like, "Wow, this is nice." And I was, yeah, and I was a bit gutted, wasn't I? I was like, "Yeah, mm, you were yeah. you were disappointed you hadn't thought of it." Yeah, yeah. And then you had thought of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this finish, th this is one of two examples because the other one is the kind of pinky GS1 that I wanted. To, we, where is that? That's there. This is now, actually, show that in the camera. Show the people world. Um, Can that, you tell it's pink? Yeah, it's far away. Mm. Yeah. So, so this is a, an example of another guitar that's very, very difficult to sell in quotes to a to a <laughs> to a, a customer. I've had this guitar a long time, and the reason why I've had it a long time is because I literally cannot take a photograph of it. And good photographers yeah. out there will talk about the fact that this kind of it's it's kind of pink. It's like a it's a powder beautiful, pink. It's powder, powder pink. pink. Yeah. I just think it's, it's absolutely like gorgeous. And I remember when I yes. got Doug to build this one, <laughs> I knew that the pink and the the gold would look beautiful together. And I just still think it's exquisite. And I'd I'd have a guitar like that all day long, um, but I can't take a photograph of it and I can't represent it properly. So I'd be really fascinated to see how that. Take your arm away, Johnny. <laughs> Blends in with me because I'm such a pink. I, I just don't know if that even in now that looks 
But we'll see when it, it comes out whether that it looks... It does a bit. I don't know. Now, so, so the same problem with that, the same problem with that is the same problem we have with this. So if we show the guys... Um, oh, getting the light. See, again, on this monitor, I never Everything know looks what... Naff on this it monitor. looks naff. So I'm hoping, if I show you... If you look here, I'm hoping on the monitor, there's a patch there where you can see the grain, and they call it grain... What do they call it, John? Uh, filled so, grain or... Filled fill grain. Or so like basically, there is a... Um, there is in here, you can basically, I kind of consider it like an open pore-ish kind of grain. So you see the grain underneath, you see the wood underneath the finish. And if I flip it over, oh, and this looks amazing. Here, look, it's a really vintage. I'm just going to hope that you can see that. Try showing the very bottom of the guitar. There's a lot of it on the very, very bottom by the strap button. No, you still oh, this, can't see this. You still can't see it. <laughs> yeah, well, you might, they might be able to see it when we, um, so I'm just going to show you this as if you can see it, guys. And on the back, you should be able to see that, but on it, it looks like we've landed on Mars on the camera. So, but that finish is really hard to show in photographs, and it's the kind of thing you have to see in real life to really understand how beautiful it is. And the aged hardware, this is kind of Goto, aged Goto hardware, the machine heads are all aged. And so that looks beautiful too. So, so this, from an aesthetic point of view, and as a kind of a vibe with it, is just... Mm. I was floored when that was Absolutely. delivered. And then this one, you see, you can feel a bit lighter because it's, it's carved out in mm. here. So this is an export model uh, with the real high-end CTS pots. CTS and, wiring, and wiring stuff. stuff. Yeah. Um, really, really the, nice the, tuners. Oh yeah, super um, posh tuners, oh, yeah. etc. So, Super smooth. but same kind of guitar, same concept, but just the vibe. And I think this. Sorry, guys. I know I'm. I'm getting off thing. We'll Carry on. <laughs> We've missed it. Um, <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed this. Um, the fact that you can have this here with the volume. You know, this is a slightly more classic kind of modern style. Mm. Here you got the whole vintage thing. I love going. the top hat knobs. You knobs on these. Then. This yeah, is, like, I do. Those top hat knobs. I only noticed them today. Top I've hat. looked at this guitar about a million times and I only noticed today that it has a really cool top hat knob thing. But the fact you can go sure. from that to that, I just think is... Mm. And yet it's all GS, mm. it's all Gordon Smith, yeah. it's all handmade. Yeah. Um, you can literally find what suits you. Okay, so we've got the GST plugged in. Um, now then, we're using our new wonderful pedals. Um, so you've just got this on an overdrive sound, you've got so it on what, um, you've got full drive. <laughs> How are we getting that sound, John? Is that so um, we've got one, the one, the pedal we call full drive on. Um, it's basically, it's a bit of an amp in a box, but not as versatile as an amp in a box. So good for a little bit of crunch. Um, so that's what we've got. A little bit of martially crunch. Is the best I mean, way if you take that off, just so that people can hear. So that's the difference between what we're getting. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. Do you think, so this is a £39 pedal. sound yeah the, the thing is now this is why I love these pedals because uh, these these pickups because that P90 sounds the difference between having your head a little bit more kind of knocked off mm. with a humbucker a P90 will have that sweetness of tone yeah because effectively it's still a single for the guys who are listening it's still a single coil but it's just heavily wound so yeah, yeah more wines and um, I found out as well the width this way makes a big difference so um, so, because because the magnets going further around, well, the winds are going a bit further around. It affects the way that they pick up the strings or something like that. Oh, okay. Um, so I, I always tell people to be careful of humbucker size P90s because although they're called P90s, they won't have a proper P90 sound. Um, Gordon Smith's P90s as well. I find they're not as hot as the usual ones because uh, P90s sometimes have got a, a lot of welly, <laughs> basically. Um, and they can sometimes have a little bit too much, and um, they can get a bit woolly and a bit fluffy and uh, yeah. a bit gnarly. Yeah. 
the oven. Um, which is good for some things. Um, but the Gordon Smiths, they're a little bit less hot. So they just, they have that really crystal kind of clean, single coil kind of sound, but with a bit more girth to it. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, classic taking the toe control. Just get that hot. Classic T. Now, this this guitar that you've got on your in your hands here, oh, it looks so beautiful. Yeah. Now, I think this is another one. So this is ash. This is a swamp ash body, um, yeah. semi hollow, humbucker in the neck, mm -hmm. single coil uh, with a slight, with, with a more modern um, uh, saddles, which is mm -hmm. kind of being which. Oh yeah, that's kind of a, I yeah. like that. that's <laughs> Yeah, me too. Yeah, um, because because you definitely get the you definitely get the sound associated yeah. with the classic T sound by having this. I don't know how much how, oh, how much do you believe so in I this? I I um, I don't think the actual tray really makes that much well, difference. Well, I, I um, yeah, go on, there go on, is go on. there's a special thing about Telecaster pickups in particular over Stratcaster pickups um, okay. because there's a you see there's three sprues. There's a little yeah. triangle of. Um, Okay. I think it's usually copper. Or like that. All right. And on those, connected to those, so and that affects the magnetic waves and stuff like that. How does he know this? I'm a nerd. He's, he's, he's just talented. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, What's well, so uh, the screws actually affect the, the copper? So, the, so oh, because okay. that bit, because that the sort of copper itself, yeah. because that so. little triangle of metal is underneath yeah. the magnet, it's affecting the way. I, at least it, that's what I think it is. That's what I read. Like that. Um, a lot of pickup sound differences. It's all to do with something, something affecting the way the magnet. See, I've the historically I've um, read that the mass having that metal around the pickup and the magnets all affects the overall tone that you, you get from the guitar. In theory, you're right because it is the same kind oh, of concept. Right. It's easy, yeah. But um, but yeah, it's I don't to do with the copper. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, that's the thing about the copper. I bet you I'll leave out. I'll have to edit it out. Um, however, I suppose it's just the. There is something about the, the Telecaster E te classic T type sound <laughs> that, that that has this kind of and it is that bright twang, that back pickup twang, um, that is different from a strand. Yeah, so that's what's a classic by that. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. This semi hollow business, mm -hmm. I do notice there is a difference and I Ricky, I'm gonna get you to compare yeah. that. To the uh, the beautiful double uh -huh. bound we got down there because uh -huh. that's a that's a full bo that's yeah. a solid body yeah. ash. So um, maybe if you whack out just a little bit of a bluesy lick or something on, on that, that pickup. Now, I, now I think, I'm guessing I'm guessing I don't know but. I'm thinking that when we plug that other one in, that one will have a little bit more. Because I think that, because you, you've got nothing to compare it to, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I would imagine that that one will have a little bit more of a bite to it, more mm -hmm. of a, a kind of. I think that's got a slight woodiness to it, which yeah. we, we can't probably even appreciate right now because we've got nothing to compare it to. Yeah. Let's just see if that's total trash or whether that's. Um, so let's whack this. Now, I think for anyone watching, I don't know if I'm hoping they can see. The absolutely exquisite neck on that, and the, the flame on the board. But these are essentially the same. Oh yeah. Now, I think already, I'm not sure, they give it a Does it feel any different? Uh, yeah, this one feels lighter. Like, it does feel lighter, yes. Yeah. This so one does feel lighter, yeah. It's, it's clear, isn't it? There is a difference. There is a difference. Sure, are you going to say you're gonna, it might be the pickup the way they're hyped? No, the way um, they're hyped. Well, it could be, but it could be. Uh, they're working to similar specs, weren't they? So, but it's um, what you would expect. There's something about a semi hollow because people always ask. 
is it just, and I, and to a degree, I have to say to people, well, you know, it's not a full semi-hollow, it's only this bit, this cavity yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, the thing is, with a cavity like that, Crazy, it's going to affect, because yeah. something's resonating, it's going to affect yeah. how the strings yeah. are. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whenever people ask me the question, I sort of say yes and no. It kind of it's going to affect the sound because there's a different resonance happening. Yes. And if the pickups have got a slight little bit of microphonicness to them, yeah. then yeah. there's definitely going to be a difference. Yeah. Um, or even if they don't, because they're changing the way the strings vibrate, yeah. it's going to change the way the pickups pick it up. I suppose so. the desire to say don't expect a semi hollow sound is because when you have a full semi hollow guitar, yeah. Yeah, that's like a, it's like a completely a, different piece. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, totally. And and so you don't want to oversell that co that aspect of it, yeah. but it definitely has a, a, a kind of effect mm. to the tone of the guitar, mm. yeah. um, and maybe takes you a little bit away from that um, that full on bright spank of a classic yeah. T, and a little bit more mellow, a little bit. And I think that's it has it. that slight mellowing yeah. effect. Okay, that's, so that's I quite interesting. Like that's well. So with this pickup combination, now the reason why this is. Uh, for me, it was really important to have this pickup and this design mm -hmm. for the humbucker in the neck. Difference being is you've also got the um, the coil tap on this one as well. Yeah, if you we whack do. into that neck pickup, so, so now we've got a really look. That's So, but again, look yeah. at this. So, I mean, again, that, um, that's gorgeous. But just that's the fact you can go mm. from this whole, every single point. This is what's so incredible about the Gordon Smith guitars. This is all just completely optional. Mm. I mean, everything's an option. So, the difference between humbucker, semi hollow, two single chord, gold hardware, beautiful flame. Everything's a choice. So that's that's what I love about Gordon Smith. Um, and the fact it's all handmade in England directly. Um, the thing is, I really like yeah. this. It's a, it's. And it's a good sort of thing to show alongside these because it's a bit more modern. Mm. It's just, yeah, it's got these that, are like it's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. It's got the. It, I, it's got I that absolutely one. love uh, that. Has that one got this as well? Yeah, this the the GS style um, classic T uh, scratch plate rather than the more traditional one. Okay. Uh, have we got one with the traditional one up here? I don't think no, so. No, the mahogany one in the back has the more traditional shape. Oh, I, that I one. Really like. Oh, this. the scratch plate. It's so yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's proper GS, oh, that one as well. yeah. like this basically, and the, the sort of Viking metal, I think they call it Viking grey or something like that, Viking metal grey. Um, so hang on, <laughs> what, what, tell me the G, this GS pick, oh, I've have you not noticed it before? I'm not so sure. It's, 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 a, it's more goes, curved around here, um, akin to an original GS. Ah, yeah. Oh. It's hard. <laughs> Not would go up and come straight yeah. down there, wouldn't it? It'd be a lot more. Oh yeah, it does come straight down. Yeah. And so in oh, theory, yeah, this one nice. won't protect it from scratches quite as much. But who's playing that? Fire? <laughs> and yeah, and when you're playing nice something metal. that's Viking metal grey, you don't really need to protect it. Oh my god! Is that, a, that, that so? In your mind, that is I, just basically more Gordon Smith. I prefer this. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, it's, it's just more appealing. I don't know why. Yeah. It's just no, got I something like it. special to it. No, but I like it and too. And it is a bit more, like you said, it's a bit more Gordon Smith. And actually, when you look back at a um, sort of a more traditional design, it, it, it see, there's the Gordon Smith. So this is. Yeah. So, so yeah, but when you look well. at a classic, it really does 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 jump out at you. Really you really notice, notice it. Yeah. When, you, yeah. when you know the difference, don't you? Is but that in the picture? I it is just in the picture. Yeah, no, that's really interesting. Um, but again, colour coded headstock. Yeah. That's kind of yes. got a, sort of the old Gene L vibe to it. It reminds me of a Gene L. Mm. Um, uh, so. And I must admit, I really love the. Uh, it's, I call it kind of gunmetal grey. Yeah, like there's, I've seen it called. Se I think uh, I've seen it called several different things. It is a gunmetal grey, isn't it? Although I do like the thought of it being called Viking metal grey. Oh, it's okay. Really silly. Yeah, Viking <laughs> metal Viking. <laughs> but, um, 
For Viking Rock. <laughs> for Viking Metal. But then you can't Viking play that because you now have, no longer have your beard. You no, I don't look like a bit <laughs> I, I look like I should be playing country on it. But um, no, that's lovely. Um, but this, um, <clears throat> it's a, it's not actually that expensive. It's not that This is a relatively, well, now that's relatively really stripped point. back and simple yes. one. I think the main reason that this costs a bit more is, well, it costs more than sort of something relatively standard, is that it's Swamp Ash and it, the, the finish will cost a bit more. A bit so is that still a Swamp Ash body? Is it, yeah, it's still a Swamp Ash body. Yeah. Saying, it, this is really nice and light, actually. I have a thing uh, about guitars, which is Swamp Ash body... When you can't see the when grain. When you can't see the grain. I know what you mean. It's a bit mm. and, and, um, and also, the whole concept of Swamp Ash, it's, it's all a bit kind of slightly blurred now because you've. I normally consider Swamp Ash for its lighter. It has yeah. a lighter vibe. But you do also get heavier. This isn't heavy as such. But it's not as light. Mind you, this isn't that no, heavy, sorry. actually. It's not too heavy. Um, but I always expect. Swamp Ash to be lighter, yeah. and that's that's nice. But then something like you know something like Poplar, is Poplar is it called? Um, Poplar. Poplar. Got... Is that light? That's kind of lighter, I think. Poplar's generally, light you know, yeah. and and I just think a Poplar guitar sounds amazing. If you mm -hmm. if you're gonna stick if you're gonna stick yeah. um, so, um, straight to the paint like all like over, yeah. It, yeah. I I I'd be hard pressed to kind of um, you know you still get that lightweight vibe. Mm. But I must yeah. also say they so say so so say though. Swamp Ash bodies, I have, and again, this is, I, I hate it, I just think I'm buying in something like the BS marketing, but most often when I've got a guitar that's really resonant and lively on my lap, it mm. tends to be a Swamp Ash body, mm. and, I, and I, I, I was under the impression that it's because when it's in a swamp, and it, it kind of expands, is that right? And the water expands the wood. I suppose and then they dry wood, it. it? Yeah. yeah, they they it, my understanding is the swamp <laughs> this could be completely bro science. Uh, but um the um is that the, it it gets wet, it expands, yeah, and then dries out. Mm -hmm. and, and so once it's drier, the, mm -hmm. it's it's a lot less dense, it's lighter. Yeah. And it's and it, and it's res and it resonates because there's all these little holes inside. Mm -hmm. That's my that understanding. My, that's my understanding of swamp ash. I, nice, really the pickups nice. in this sound really nice as well. I don't know what it is about them. Amazing. They've got some proper wellies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's just quickly talk about that because that that's a good point. That I mean, obviously you're sitting on top of the amp. Yeah. The so sound. so the, the closer proximity <laughs> yeah. you are to the uh, amp, the noise it's going to be. But for anyone watching, that is your big benefit of a humbucker a guitar. It bucks the hum, cancels the hum, and you have a much quieter playing uh, when you're not. I suppose it's more when you're not playing. I mean, as soon as you start playing, you yeah, you, you kind of, uh, especially when you play like. <laughs> You just don't hear it, but in between playing, the uh, the single coils are, uh, are always yeah, going to be a little noisy. So, so now talking of single coils, I can I pick up this one because yeah. I've been wanting to show Ooh. everyone this baby. I love that one. So, this is a beautiful example. This is a really standard colour if you think mm -hmm. about it. You know, powder blue, but it was the fact that the powder blue with the parchment, I call it parchment, a you know, creamy kind of yeah. colour hardware. That combination alone, I think, okay, absolutely yeah, always looks, abs white. yeah, looks absolutely beautiful. Mm. And, it, and if you put a white plate on a blue, mm. it, it kind of, cheap, to me, it sort of cheapens it, it makes it look a yeah, bit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. It looks it's very weird, isn't fresh, it? doesn't it? Yeah. It's odd. And yet that just, to me, just looks incredible. Yeah. Then the combination, so you've got this really old school traditional with the vintage vibe going on here, but then to have the flame mm. maple the neck, neck, neck yes, yeah, it's glorious. It's extraordinary. The stock has yeah. a nice little So it brings that kind of, then you, then it kind of brings that boutique vibe. So all of a sudden you yeah. go from being what might look like a stock guitar. If this had a regular neck, white plate, it would mm. still be lovely powder blue classic tea, um, but it. Classic but, guess. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. yeah sorry. Again. Yeah, I'll start again. Um, it will still be a lovely classic s guitar, um, but you can transform it. And this is where people at home can think about if they see a guitar, and this is quite a good thing to to do for anyone. If they see a guitar that they love, and they think, oh, if only that had a whatever it was, a certain plate or a certain neck. 
they got They'll to understand it. that they can do that, yeah. and they don't mm. have to be confined by the format of of mass production guitars. Yeah. It doesn't exist. You know, it doesn't have to exist that way anymore. It yeah. is, mm. There is a brilliant British company that will build you that guitar and still be and in sensible prices that yeah. are oh, yeah. ridiculously sensible. Well, a good example um, is you had a customer recently who ordered a, I think it was a Classic S, mm -hmm. and he just said, please, can you arrange for them to make a tortoise shell scratch plate to go in the case to yeah. spare? Um, because he originally wanted black, and they just said, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, uh, so you've got extra spare plate. Yeah, got a, yeah, he got mm -hmm. the spare scratch plate just for when he wants to mm -hmm. play with the tortoise shell one. Um, has out. this one got the, the that's the, the rolled edges yeah. now because this is another thing about this guitar because it yeah, yeah. yeah you just because I had to ask John because he's he can remember what I bought him <laughs> um, and um, but but I just have to do it by feel and and it's crazy because one of the things I asked Doug to do was to um, I remember in the old days Fender caught I mean God, some of the crap I had to listen to in the old days um, but um, I remember one of the one of the um, one of the taglines at one point was a better feeling better playing strat was their tagline at the time and it was like it was this huge innovation <laughs> it's like oh man guys you just roll yeah okay so you're rolling the edges a bit more than you did before uh, and so but but it, but it, the thing is it is. It's a thing. If you have the slightly rolled edges, you just get that kind of. It just that, feels that, a little bit more natural. And yeah, more calm yeah. Hand, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, and it just fits your hand like a glove. Mm. But the thing is, it take, does take them a lot longer to mm. do it because mm. it is handmade. So there is an extra cost involved. But there is something special about knowing that this guitar has been just been mm. toiling over doing that. Oh, yeah. Literally, neck yeah, for yeah, yeah. Some yeah. time, and you know that it, they'll. It is. Take it's it just. To, care. And yeah. there'll be some people who won't care about that. And but for me, that, I do, and it's just, 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 just feels beautiful, a glorious. Um, and also, this. Now, what body was it? Because this is kind of light. Well, you, you, by your own admission, <laughs> said you wouldn't put a clear coat over um, Swamp Ash. I think, yeah, from, it's from, definitely from, a from memory, from memory of it seeing is. the specs, I think it's copper. Um, this is crazy because it kind of defies all my point because I actually. I don't know if anyone can hear this, um, but are that those Richie chords you were saying? Uh, Richard chords. <laughs> but this, it does. To me, that feels like it really does resonate beautifully. And it has that lighter, I definitely am a, it's weird, because I do like a, a, I think I do like a lighter feel guitar. Yeah. The thing that I, um, I actually, the, the back pickup on a Classic S, obviously is the brightest. Um, and for me personally, I tend not to use that as much as the one here, which I think is a classic sound, that is considered oh, the, yeah. the number two. That's proper the really twangy. vocal kind of... Um, and it gives you that yeah. beautiful nasal sound. But for me, it's just that kind of... I just think it's... You can't get the sound out of any other guitar. No. That is yeah, that is the true. sound. That in-between sound mm. is a classic. Whether it's the springs as well, it all combines mm. with you know the, the springs or the trim. Uh, but, but that nasal sound... something about that mm. can we just hear do you mind if i do you mind if i yeah yeah go 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 because you say the difference another thing where that's been dug is if I they still do hear a sound. if they do wire uh, uh, pickups differently to the classic s pickups mm. yeah <laughs> let's just nah you still hear that that's to, uh, that's more still telling that, yeah. that plonky they must, they must <laughs> wire them slightly differently because <laughs> that's, 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 that's a t that's a t has its own voice. Definitely got its own voice. Um, 
So we've just, I've swapped over to this, so I wanted to get, I wanted to see all the guitars and get them all, well not all of them, but as many as I could play. This beautiful mahogany model is another favourite of mine, so I just, just swapped it over to this one. And again we'll hear the neck pick on this one. And again, yeah. Bruce Springsteen, Brian Adamsy mm. kind of spangly yeah. nastiness. Interesting. So so again, this is where kind of ash comes into its own because you just there's just something about the beauty of just the natural I, I mean I know it's a cosmetic thing, but there's something about just seeing that beautiful grain on the on the ash. Uh, but combined with the rose of board and everything, just and the tortoise shell blending mm. in. It's all very uh, very lovely. And again, I mean, there you've got that back nasal. So it's just such a different. Yeah. Gordon Smith um, obviously started its whole. I mean, I'm not quite sure what the first Gordon Smith guitar was, what the body design. I always presume it was I'm this. I'm assuming one. it's this. Mm. Yeah, I'm presuming cut. it's this. When you see cut. photos of all of the, the old punk boys and stuff playing them, like um, the yeah, from the Buzzcocks and stuff, it's always this double cut design. Yeah. So I think, again, obviously Gordon Smith. Gordon Smith. Gordon Smith. <laughs> Very much I remember someone else who forgot his name. Uh, <laughs> we won't go there. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, Gordon Smith very much lean into their heritage of um, of being a uh, sort of punk and rock kind of brand. Obviously, they do more than just punk and rock guitars. Yeah. yeah. But um, but again, if you look at all the big names playing them, you've got um, you've got the gent from the Stooges um, has played Gordon Smith in the past. Um, the front man of um, Buzzcox was a, um, was a big Gordon Smith player. There's sort of a lot of big rock bands. Creeper are a more modern sort of. Yeah. They're, like, they're, like, they're not a metal band, but they're sort of a hard rock band. Yeah. Um, and it's. I think it is in it's, the DNA of that kind of music. And these very. And they much know they don't need. They just don't need that next warm sound. They're just. Yeah. Doing that it's slightly it's the kind of the, like just wanting that. <laughs> That very big sort of yeah, yeah. bitey, nasty, gnarly kind of sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you you would go for a GS1 if you just want something really simple that um that you can just plug into a really noisy amp and whack it and you know it's gonna sound great. Also, but also, actually, actually, have you got we haven't got a chorus on here, have we? No, I don't know. But if you whack on, maybe put on a delay, uh take the overdrive off. Because also We're doing um, an acoustic pedal, so I mean, I won't, we won't put it in now. But if you whacked an acoustic pedal in there, that would, that would make an amazing acoustic sound. Yeah. Sorry to, to, to take you away. 
So I love that. I love that. The, thing, love that. the thing with something like this as well is it's 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 no well. This one's obviously got a few frills because it's pink and has gold hardware. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thanks. But, thanks to my design skills. <laughs> Um, no one seems to appreciate it. The, something like this is it's no frills, you know what you're going to get. Even the two humbucker ones, simple, no frills, you know what you're going to get, you know you can plug it in night after night. And yeah. it's just a quality death, workhorse basically. machine, yeah, isn't it? That's, that's yeah. what they Without are. And that's where GS started. That yeah. was the whole point of GS, really, was to give people amazing, affordable workhorse rock yeah. guitars or guitars for performing night after I think night after the, night. Yeah, I whole, think it's kind of where it started. The, the whole heritage thing, I, I obviously I don't think I don't think they went out of their way to make guitars for that for sort of rock and punk music. Mm. But because the simplicity basically captures that ethos perfectly. And it was probably just, the music of the day yeah. that was guitar, you know, that's kind of it had a kind of natural starting yeah, point I in, think the, someone, in, the, in, the, in the music that was kind of around them. Someone that was gonna started. go in a garage with their mates and just wanted something that would like like if you look mm. at a strat, can you imagine someone that's never touched an instrument before uh, that it just wants to go in and play their sex pistols covers with their mates. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna go and pick up a strat? when it's got all of those knobs and those switches. Yeah. They're gonna go for something like this, because yeah. you know you can just go, okay, that looks like it's gonna yeah, it's a make a lot of noise kind yeah, of stuff. Totally. It's and got I a look about it, the, hasn't it? It's but, got yeah, it does. But you're right, you still can get really nice. Yeah. And that's why they're good workhorses, because you can easily just do a lot of nice clean stuff at the same time. Absolutely, yeah. Um, yeah, nice. And, um, and the, it's, it's that whole ethos that is where Gordon Smith starts, I think. It's yeah, the cool. whole designing workhorses for actual people, both people and musicians. Yeah, nice. yeah, nice. Um, nice. And again, the single pickup, no frills thing, just, it just sits in that nicely. I've, um, I don't know if it's a slightly separate subject, but no, that's really nice. I, I, I totally agree. I think that's a brilliant way of summing it up that, um, you know, even the most basic guitar that starts from a stripped down single yeah. pick, you know, that that's kind of for a lot of people that's all they need. Yeah. And 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 um and and also you don't need to get carried away with I mean I enjoy that's what I love doing. I love getting carried away with the bindings and the woods and the finishes. It's easy to, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um but, um, but it's actually not really yeah. you know essential that you do do all of that. Um, no, I prefer yeah. more stripped back. And I think yeah, yeah. I think yeah. the the, the, oh, the fun th it. the nice thing about Gordon Smith is that three three people from very different musical backgrounds can yeah. each mm -hmm. find something that's going to work really well for them. So what's your, let's go through, uh, uh, I haven't even thought about it, but if you had to give, if you had to put a GS, if you had to put a GS as your favourite, what would it be then? So, what, what would it be I, your, uh, body kind of, shape, you're going to make one for yourself. Body or? shape is something that always really upsets me, because I don't really know, I'd have to, I, I really want to grab Doug by the shoulders and shake him until he does a, an offset. Um, ah, but, yes. Um, well, there may be there but may I don't be something. Know if we're allowed to talk about it. Well, there so. may be some. I think I think <laughs> I think we're allowed to say there may be something in the offering. Um, yeah, I think we can say there's but, something um, something, yeah. something happening. So, because I remember when I first saw the GSX, that yes, that, yeah, because that's kind of got that offset vibe to it. And the yeah. second I saw it, and the second I started playing Gordon Smith, so I started obviously inventing yeah. the ideal thing in my head. Yeah. So I ended up settling on and definitely this one bash body because I like the grain. Yeah, Mainly. it's sad, isn't it? We're just so, we're just so, <laughs> it's so we're just, bad to be that aesthetically. Yeah, but yeah, but that's it, life. Swamp that's, bash you want to pick it. You want it um, if you like the look of it. It's, so yeah. it's definitely a swamp bash body. I'd I probably go for a. I uh, before they can't couldn't do it anymore. I would have gone for a chocolate roasted maple neck. Oh yeah. Um, and then a. You're gonna laugh because you hate when I talk about this color in guitars. I uh, have a green point, a forest green. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a, a transparent forest green kind of color. But, but but there's a green guitar coming. It's seafoam, like a seafoam, you know, it's, yeah, yeah, it's I, I'm on the, thinking forest yeah, green. Because yeah. uh, basically, my Im my image is making it look like a tree. Okay. So, I like so, that. Okay, yeah. Chocolate leaves, yeah, chocolate, yeah. Chocolate, yeah. So, they, chocolate, they, they can't, maple. unfortunately, they can't do chocolate roasted maple anymore. No. Um, but, um, I like that idea, John. You want it to look like, like a tree? A maple neck, you rose, want, you want rosewood board. Nice sort of um you want your guitar to transparent be green. Yeah. yeah. Does it have any it. does it will it have any nests or like birds? Maybe I could get Doug to like scratch something into the back yeah, that just, makes it look like a bird's nest. Yeah, <laughs> something to make, make it I more wonder, authentic. How much, uh, how much, have an apple growing How much an hour would Doug's times cost to <laughs> make him scratch a bird's nest into the yeah. back of my guitar? Yeah. Um and then I I I change my mind on the pickups every five seconds. Um but I definitely want a P90 in the neck. I absolutely love Gordon Smith P90s, and I'd have to be a P90 in it somewhere. Um, and I like them in the neck for their clean sounds. 
um, so they just get nice and smooth yeah. and nice and comfy and warm. Uh, and then a Telecaster single from the bridge. Oh, okay. Um, with a Telecaster tray and yeah, uh, but uh, sort of. I don't know about the headstock. So did you say an offset? Not, but is this on the offset? So yeah, yeah an offset. Yeah. With so it'd be a proper mangled amazing, yeah. beast. Yeah, but, but it's um, brilliant. But the point is, you ask Doug, can you build me one of those? Yeah. And he'll say yes. He would. He'll just do it. And it's, I mean, that's, it's that's, insane, that's isn't it? That's just crazy. Um, it's amazing. And we it's, have this conversation all the time. Just, but, yeah. I just don't yeah, think people realise. Like, I don't think people realise that is just how it works. You just and you say, oh, uh, you know, could you shave the neck a bit slimmer? Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Um, I asked for forty-five mil nut. Yeah, Rich. Yeah, we'll do forty-five mil because up for people with wider. Th- I know I've got my forty. My it? fetish. My forty-five millimeter <laughs> nut fetish. But but. Um, you have to be careful that you say that too. Uh, but, um, <laughs> but the, uh, but, but, but the, uh, but, but the, even two inches. Really. But, but, but hey, it's, uh, yeah. Uh, but um, it, 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 it can all be done. And, yeah. and, and people have really been so grateful for that. Mm. that don't, don't get me on some rude jokes. But people are generally grateful for that, yes. Uh, for, for being able to, for. It makes a big difference, doesn't it? I, I've specced out a couple of 45mm nuts. They haven't arrived yet, actually. I'm looking forward to them yeah. coming in. Because I haven't had, I haven't yes. tried a 45mm nut Gordon Smith yet. Um, so that's yours. Um, Ricky, Ricky, do you have I anything particular? Have you had? I haven't had anything too much. Really? Um, I, I think I've got probably like two. Playing them today is But it'll definitely your mind be. Or, uh, um, well, when we're talking classic tea. Yeah. Um, just b- very basic, stripped down, nothing fancy, no. D- Things and no yeah. over, overarching. Yeah, 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 just the like nice plain <laughs> color. Yeah, you don't I want it to look like, like the a vintagey a colors. Rose. Definitely with a maple uh, fretboard, so no rose with that. I like just the maybe just the plain, or maybe it's slightly flamed. No, I can never decide maple, if I'd want to go. So yeah. old school, old school, old classic school, tea, yeah. Just, yeah. And I'm, then, I'm um, I, I do. <laughs> it's the pickups um, that scare me. <laughs> so I really want to, <laughs> I don't know if this will be my ideal one just yet, but I've been thinking about it. And John and uh, John's giving me a lot of a uh, stick for it, and I think you might. <laughs> What's and it going to be? It's got to be that bad. So I, I'd, I'd to... ideally, on on a um, on a on a classic tea, would like a humbucker in the neck yeah. and a P90 in the bridge. Okay, um, yeah, humbucker in the neck and P90 in the bridge. Yeah, it, just sounds, it just sounds wrong in <laughs> my brain. And because I, don't know I, I love the sound of a single coil in the neck because I like that whole warm but not too you know like full that just that nice single coil but you said a humbucker but, you but I said humbucker tap. but I mean you yeah. can coil tap it yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, the thing yeah. and then when you want that big yeah, full yeah. sound you got the humbucker yeah. but then I quite like that also that I, bit I of fullness to the bridge yeah. 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 But no, I think you're absolutely I like right because no I could not agree more that that the classic tea back pickup sound can be quite bite. Actually, that that mahogany um, yeah. classic tea mm. demonstrates mm. it doesn't have to be uh, as biting as it is. As no, it, as true. Um, and, and and my picture, maybe my memory of a classic tea back pickup. Sometimes I have to test my my own knowledge on that. Um, but um, having a P90. I think it's a great way of smooth sweetening it out and, and making it less yeah, bridge pickup, me, less shrill. Yeah, and but you, it, but you still got the bite. More, mm, yeah, yeah no, but totally still agree. with that bite. Yeah, I really agree. I think. Um, then, yeah, I totally. Agree. Which is why I don't. I I, I I don't want to take over your thing about your. No, no Karen, that, that was I mean, it. Basically, that's kind of it. Yeah. Yeah. I also school, like just the a what, proper one with just. Down, if you're going stripped down, are you going to get? Would you go? I can imagine. Uh, I I can just imagine you. You know, if you. Brightly coloured clothes, playing like a mahogany classic tea with all that stuff on. <laughs> I th- but I, but I see Ricky. I, the, I wish. <laughs> Can I'm you tell still, we talk about this all the time? No, I, the, I'm, I'm still. <laughs> no, but I'm still trying to find. I, I want to be able to buy a guitar, not like an aged, aged guitar, mm. but a guitar that is looks like it's um, used from just a sort of old bit of wood. Like like we've got, you know that that this, the background we now use for. Um, the, 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 oh, what's yeah. it called? The palace. So it's yeah. an old palace. Having a bit of old wood that just looks like mm. it's just not been that really mm. treated as such, but and it has just a, a, an old kind of look about it. it hasn't yeah. been war. Hasn't well, been aged like as such. Yeah. But you just has a rough look. Phone, I'll say. We've yeah. got some palettes though. Can you yeah, turn it into just, the top? <laughs> I, I'm really into, and, and especially with acoustic guitars as well, which is a different subject, different yeah, story. Yeah. But I love the idea of an acoustic guitar just looking. Like an old acoustic really, guitar, really, really beaten up wood. Just a bit of beaten really up wood, cool, yeah. yeah. But but not, it doesn't have to be kind of aged as such. Just a just some really raw looking old wood. So but yeah. So but 
with your style of you know very I always think of you as old school traditional kind of um, in you know heritage mm. into that kind of bluesy kind of um, yeah I like ugly colours like a faded orange or something like yeah that. I think it really yeah. just stands up <laughs> oh, yeah. I actually think you have got a very orange guitar and you actually already, so that makes sense. <laughs> you have to think That's about something. it yeah guitar. and like a vintage blonde I like that vintage blonde colour that was yeah, nice yeah 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 that was really, really beautiful nice. colour well that's why but, uh, that's why this old baby down here in the, in the um uh, that, yeah, what would you call yeah. that? The TV yellow, I suppose. TV yellow, yeah, yeah, that's quite nice as well. I don't think you see it, can you? No, not no, anymore. No, no, the TV yellow one we should. But um, yeah, yeah. ideally, I would, I would like two single coils in a classic tee as well because that's. T- well, I've just got. You'll have, have, yeah, yeah. Yeah. have to have two. If I could have two, <laughs> yeah, I'd have one wacky, crazy one of the P90 in the bridge and a humbug. But it's amazing how you pick up a guitar with a certain sound, certain pickup, and you just play it in a certain way. But to be fair, this I hold it and just I just want to play palm muted. Yeah, kind of yeah, rock with them. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Really, yeah. It's just, it's yeah, it makes just, you they do just that. ask you to do it, don't they? Now, I've got this. I mean, Doug, they've all been very, very busy. Um, but I've, I've been, I've been asking Doug for what seems like for an eternity for a kind of because my, my, my sort of start. What I think my, what I'd call my roots in terms of when I really got into playing guitar properly, properly uh, in my later year was um, more rock instrumental rock guitar mm. styles for the love of god by steve Vai or something like that and joe yeah. satron's got a list of songs that i used to listen to um like surfing with the alien all that kind of stuff um and um but so i i start off with more rock guitar instrumental rock mm. and i i think there's a lot of people like myself of my age who went through that whole instrumental rock phase yeah so i really want something built by gordon smith that has a kind of combination of slightly more aggressive style than a s- you know, uh, classic S. Hand built boutique rock, but rock guitar. That's what I want to get a more rock yeah, guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Body. Now, the thing is, it'll, it'll have a slight, it'll have a slimmer neck. Yeah. Uh, it'll be a little bit more aggressively styled. But, yeah. but basically, it's no different. This is your point that it's no different. But I'd like to attract people like myself who want a little bit slightly more aggressive modern style guitar yeah. um, with a choice of r- nice tops and boutique yeah, yeah. looking tops. Um, but anyway, Doug's working on that uh, for me. Uh, and um, But in terms of how I would have it from a, the more traditional. Yeah, it has to be something that, that, that exists. My Although my I've problem seen. is my, and this isn't this isn't a cop out. The trouble is, we've we've kind of discussed it. I can my current love is that 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 t- it's not in the picture, but the TV yellow t- p- t- mm. oh, twin P ninety. Yeah, yeah, bring him <laughs> bring him in because he's going to feel. It's so beautiful. that is my is that is my it is current very, love. very nice. So so this whole and again this this finishing on it. Has that kind of slightly worn again? It's that, uh-huh, kind of, yeah, it's that look like of that simple it. old yeah, school yeah. worn looking, not like a plastic, sort yeah. Of yeah, 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 not, not very, yeah, yeah. completely not plastic. So, yeah. so there's that. I love the simplicity mm, of the, and I love P90s because mm-hmm. I think you said the same thing. Mm-hmm. Peter, sweet sound, yeah. single mm-hmm. coil. Isn't it but, weird that we all the thing that we all settle on that we all love is the P90s? P90s yeah, P90s, yeah, P90 sound. And I'm very torn between single coils and P90s, but, but I but, but, I but the trouble is, right, I love that. But then you've got the the in between sound of the uh, of the uh, classic S mm-hmm. that you can't get out of that guitar. Yeah, so exactly. that's, that's a non-starter. So that's a, yeah, yeah. I love the neck pickup sounds on the classic T, mm, um, yeah, yeah. and getting that jazz and rolling off the tone yes, control. Yes, yeah, with the single coil. Yeah, and I don't think you get that out of either of those guitars no, either. No, you won't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, they, so, just, so there's three. We've just made it quite obvious that everybody yeah. needs to buy at least one of every type of Gordon Smith that exists. But this well, is yeah, amazing. But isn't this amazing? <laughs> yeah. Basically, Gordon Smith this. are representing guitars, aren't they? The, mm. the love of guitar, and, and that's the whole point, is that guitars being guitars, and people loving guitars, there isn't one guitar that does it all. Yeah. And no. that, that's that's kind of the key. But it goes to yeah. show that the, nice, the, the point of Gordon Smith is that you it's a bit easier for you to get exactly the guitar for the style of music. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. While you yeah, are could... experimenting and coming up yeah. with your own yeah. ideas. Because, um, because I feel like all three of us are probably well settled in the type of music that we like to play, so we that's why we can sit here and easily churn out exactly what kind of Gordon Smiths we want. Mm. But, um, yeah. So if you were starting lot, out, uh, if you were a relative newcomer, and you were buying a Gordon Smith, or you were recommending a Gordon Smith, someone who's just started playing electric guitar, wants a nice guitar to get started on, I, I personally would probably still go for the classic S. I wouldn't. I usually um, go... Uh, because of the versatility and the comfort, um, which we haven't really discussed. I'm but. usually um, classic T. 
Um, as a starter? Only as a starter, because only because I've had. I, actually, it's, a, it's something I've had a comment. No trim uh, issues. No, f- no messing around so with springs. I've had to, I've had to do this for a few people, and um, they always gravitate towards because I had to love the. Actually, the very first Gordon Smith I ever spec'd out was um, was a classic T for a gen. Wonderful chap called Mike, if he's watching this. Um, I think he was called Mike, but um, but he um, basically he came in. He's never he's been playing for years, but he's never played electric. Um, and he he wanted an electric that was wasn't overly complicated because he didn't want any of the, and and um, so I s- sort of said okay well why not try classic T's or GS's um, and he really liked the classic T's because he liked the pickup options and stuff like that um, and because he re- he wanted something very um, Rolling Stones y so he went mm. for a classic T because of that um, and it's so simple and he so yeah and um, mm. and it I've had a couple of people in it's. It's an odd situation in my brain, but I realise that a sort of I think of people of a certain age. Um, a long time ago, people probably did only either play electric or acoustic, um, and I've had a couple of people who've had who spec'd out classic tees because they want their first electric, despite the fact they've been playing for 30, 40 years. Mm. Um, but they don't. If you're playing acoustic, you just pick it up and play it, and you know it's going to behave. Yeah. yeah. But with something like a Strat, I think if you've never played an electric before, they're quite overwhelming because you've got five pickup switch options yeah three knobs in other words simple and that's, get in play i have i have a, a bit of a bias against strats anyway because i don't really get on with them and it's for that reason they're overly complicated i'm a plug it in and <laughs> make a lot of noise kind of thing <laughs> 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 says the man that's like techie wizard yeah, yeah i know yeah. Really, isn't it isn't it it's weird the it's like not really I'd, technical I'd, but i'd be like oh i wonder all the, those switches yeah, and the different yeah, pickups the thing with a guitar that only has one pickup and a massive pedal board is at least you can just kick a pedal and it does what you want it to with, True. A, with a strat I, 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 I don't know I struggle with them although one of my favourite players of all time is Simon Neal from Biffy Clyro and he plays strats explicitly mm. but he he literally I, I've seen how he gets them set, set up he has all of the 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 neck in the middle position pickups he has like pretty much lowered so low that you can't use them mm. uh, and he only rides the bridge and it's huh. really a bizarre way of playing it. He has his action really high as well because he really like wallops it like, yeah. with his whole arm. But yeah, I don't. I've never gotten on with strats for that reason. I've found them overly complicated, yeah. and I, so it's really odd. But then I've always been a rhythm player and just someone that does a lot. But of I totally agree. I totally agree. The, stuff, the, the, the classic T versus the classic S. The classic S. You've got that in between sound, but the classic T, no question. In terms of functional. Mm. When a string breaks, not that I would know anything about being you know, on a stage, um, but but um, but obviously I can imagine that I would much rather string break on a classic T than a classic S, because with, with, obviously it's affecting the springs inside and the, oh gosh, yeah, and and uh, this, the ease to change the string and whatever, and and also just from a home use, you know, stringing up uh, a, a GS is so much easier than putting it through. Them. So there's a little bit of faffing around yeah. with it. Quickly mention just the fact that. The exports are really the top top end of where Gordon Smith um, uh, go with the GSs in terms of non-graduates. So, so you're not basi- basically you're not paying for the carving and the the kind of um, you know uh, the, the veneers and whatever that goes on top. Um, you're you're basically paying. They're semi they're semi hollow, um, and you've got. Um, top of the line goto. It's stuff, all it's it? all goto equipped hardware. Um, Everything CTS pots. Uh, switchcraft switches, uh, single mahogany body, a uh, one-piece mahogany body. So everything is just like the and, and the, the the highest ratio tuners yeah, as well. Twenty-one yeah. to one. Um, Twenty-one those so, are. So yeah, they're, they're the same as these. So this ever, is the creme de la creme really. of the GS well, range. Twenty-one as well. I thought they were like eighteen. Yeah. So I've got this in the twin. I, I've deliberately. So if anybody, I mean, we're in lockdown, but the idea yeah, was that anybody who does them. visit um, could could experience twin P90s. Um, well, I'll get those because yeah. I think I was blocking that. Yeah, twin, twin, P90s. twin, twin P90s. Uh, twin humbuckers, so then you've got the versatility of the single coil and the humbucker in both those pickups. Um, and then for people like myself who just, and we've been talking about, who love the P90 sound in the neck, you've got the P90 in the humbucker. Well, that's all three, so, isn't it? That's so all three, everything. yeah, everything. Um, I suppose the only way we didn't do it is the way that you said that you wanted your guitar. <laughs> yeah, You P90. wanted your guitar, so a humbucker and a P90. That's yeah. so, Ricky that's so said weird. That, Ricky <laughs> said <laughs> See, that's what I thought. You, uh, has it any, makes sense. If anyone has ever seen, a, a but guitar you, with a P90 in the bridge and a humbucker in the neck. I want to see it. But it sounds like it looks but, really weird. Yes, <laughs> no, because you're mentally used to seeing it. But actually, if you think about it, it'll you work. Would, no, no, but you wouldn't but, be questioning the idea of a single coil with a P90, right? 
Well, no, because that's what I want. Yes. <laughs> well, is that what you said? Yeah. A single so, coil with a pin, which is why you wanted it. But you just wanted the versatility of being able to plug in the, turn that single coil into a humbucker for when you wanted those. If you needed to, yeah. So, so that, that's so it's ultimate. not a million miles away. It's just, yeah. it's just getting your head around it and not being used to seeing it. But yeah, yeah. I think sense if you, if you did it, you, 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 this is getting. I'm not doing another now. one though. I'm gonna, if I'm you did it with a, a if, with like a, <laughs> a chrome cover in the P9, on the P90 and a chrome cover on the humbucker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Um, yeah, yeah, that was especially if you went really stripped back, because you want to be stripped back. If yeah, you just it's just like about getting balance in the, the cosmetics. With those two it? like chrome Massive humbuckers in there, <laughs> that in were there. just re lo just looked a, a little bit off, but they they matched. I think that could be quite fun. Um, I need to <laughs> say, I need done. to say, this is just a quick because um, I want to talk just very quickly. Got a couple of minutes left for this thing, guys. Um, Movember, yes. November doing so. We're all slightly. Hopefully, you can just see a little bit. Mine's still. Mine's blonde, not so, so obvious because my, my stubble around the Mine's end. Mine's quite visible. Richard's cheating. I'm <laughs> I wasn't cheating. I, mean, I did this before I came out. It's my first outing out the house since uh, I've been decovitized. <laughs> um, and um, but I was going to say that any video, any guitar that's presented during this month, if someone buys one. Then twenty-five pounds. I may not sound like a lot, but it's um, it's all going towards charity. So it's something. Yeah, it's another another bit of donation. Cool. So so cool. if anyone sees if if there's something you like in this group of guitars, are you doing it in that person's name as well, or is it just going to go on so not anonymous towards the um, November campaign? Oh no, I could I could I could um, I could put it in the gentleman's name if they buy it and they want to see their all name. All ladies. All ladies. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. If you want, if, I mean, if that, if, yeah, if that's something that, yeah, it'd be nice. They could see their name on the thing, uh, um, which is uh, the um, cancer research. Cancer research UK. We are. Where are we? About three hundred. We're about three hundred pounds. We're about three hundred quid. So, guys, please, we just want to raise a thousand pounds. So, please donate a bit if you um, look. If you're impressed by. That tiny little bit of stubble there, and a bit there, and a bit there. People haven't seen my face for several years. That's yeah, yeah, that's true. This for you has been a major thing. I mean, you know, and I've I've told you look like Mr. Mannering from uh, I've had several all things. sorts of insults. I've had Ron Swanson, <laughs> massive, massive. Creation. You calling me Ron Daddy Swanson. Pig? Yeah, uh, but that was more to do with your laugh, though. My how you look. <laughs> there is a there is a slight <laughs> similarity. <laughs> but it was more to do with when you like you went. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, yeah, he's got this, he's oh, 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 I'm going to be very aware of it. Anybody, that, yeah, Daddy Pig, it's so, yeah, he's, he's gone high pitched to try and hide it. Though. Daddy Pig doesn't do that. He goes, ho, 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 ho. Uh, that was, it's you're very. He's got his he's got his calm and like that daddy pig laugh, but yeah. I have heard on many occasions yeah, the high -pitch a very one. excited high pitched like, laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Too. yeah. yeah so it's all there. So so if you could if you could help us with the charity uh, bit, that'd be great. Um, and if you see any guitars, obviously, um, um, then a bit of money will go. Twenty five pounds will go to the uh, charity as well. You know what you're seeing here is really a kind of uh, an example of what you would see if you came to visit. I know we carry more Gordon Smiths than any other shop in the country. Um, so if you are wanting yes. to spend a day, and we will make their day, <laughs> we will make their day wonderful, won't we? Yes. We will be, we will, we will look after them and make them cups of tea and. Absolutely, nice. John. Um, John will do all the looking after. I'll make cups of tea. Yeah, that's it. So that's it. We'll be here. We'll look after you. Yes, but the, but, but the thing is, though, and it is an important point, <clears> is that. There is absolutely zero, is there? I mean, it's 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 about as far removed from a sales environment as you'll ever get. Yeah. Um, it is just you <laughs> yeah. sitting on a sofa, enjoying yourself, us basically, if you want us to chat and have some a bit of chit chat and about yeah, guitars. And, yeah. Gordon so, Smith visits are probably some of my favorites though, because uh, it means I get to proper geek out over all of the really minor little things yeah. that I like geeking out over. Yeah, yeah. So like designing Gordon Smith is, that's and then so I, I can't there work, drooling, listening yeah. to John and the customers yeah, specking yeah. out guitars. Yeah, so if you want to spec out Gordon <laughs> Smith, speak to John. He likes all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, that's it for, for this evening. And we will. Uh, and the thanks to the guys because they've they're, 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 it's taken us a lot longer to do it because the battery keeps running out and just things. So I'm really grateful for these guys. I keep saying, I think everyone out there knows <laughs> thanks, how Jeff. grateful I am uh, that I have such lovely people to talk about. Thank you. Normally I have to do this on my own, you see. I have to be all enthusiastic on my own. It's really weird. I'm sort of sitting here on my own, just big. being enthusiastic. But I am because I feel like I'm just talking to these guys. So it, yeah. it, I don't feel like I'm on my own. I feel like no, I'm, you feel like you're more of a I'm just in a band chatting, rather than a solo. Chatting. Now I feel know. a bit like yeah, I'm sharing this. So, yeah. <laughs> sure. so, okay, guys. Um, shall we each all say goodbye then? So, see you then, guys. See you next time. I'll Bye. do. The, I'll do the. Uh, do the I'll thing. do the thing. Do the thing. Bye. 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 Bye.